So what's the difference between augmented reality and mixed reality? I see lots of people are confused between the difference between AR and MR. So in this video, I want to make this very clear what the difference is. Augmented reality basically allows you to place digital objects on top of the real, real world that you're seeing. So this can happen through a car windscreen, for example, that is digitally enabled, and you, and those, you have digital objects highlighting things, even showing you navigation. It can be done via things like Google Glass, where you have intelligent glasses, you look at people, and it gives you annotations of who those people are. You can look at buildings and it gives you a description of those buildings. You can see applications in tourism, for example, where you walk through cities and you get a guided tour telling you all about buildings and art uh, installations and other things. And instead of just using glasses or your windscreen, you can simply use your smartphone screen or your tablet where you point your screen you look at the live video image of what is on the screen and then the phone allows you to place digital objects on top of this. So that's augmented reality, where these digital image stay pretty much in place and you can't change them. You just point at the building and those images pop up. Mixed reality is the next step of this um, immersive technology and the evolution of these extended reality applications where we where it basically still places digital objects onto the real world but in mixed reality you can manipulate those you can zoom in you can zoom out you can walk around objects so a really good example is microsoft's hololens technology so here you have glasses on and those glasses are able to produce a hologram of something like for example, if you're an engineer, you can have an hologra a hologram of an, of an engine that you've just designed. And you can then walk around, you can interact with people. So different people can look at this engine from different perspectives. You can spin this around, you can make it bigger and smaller. And you can even place things into the digital world that don't exist. And you can interact with them. So just imagine placing a digital drum kit into your room. And then you have digital sticks that you project into your hands and you can now play the drums and you hear the music. This is possible with mixed reality. This is the latest innovation. So there are still lots of use cases being developed at the moment, but companies need to start thinking about what this technology might mean, might, might mean for them and how they best prepare for this. This is what I do in my day job. If you want to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find lots of articles and examples of, of both virtual and, and, and mixed reality, of both augmented and mixed reality, what the differences are and how organizations are now using this in practice. You can also browse my YouTube channel where you can find lots of other videos on the topic.